going to walk through installing a driver for a Rico on Windows 8. So first thing we want to do is go to Rico's website, which is rico.com. Once you get to Rico's site, you're going to go to the download section, followed by Americas under the products section. On the next screen, let's make sure we uncheck brochure and manuals, and then you're going to type in the model number of your copier. I'm currently using a 4502. Then click search. Scroll down and select your model under the drivers. Agree to the terms and conditions. Now here you're going to make sure you select the operating system you're downloading for. I know some people download for another system, so make sure you're getting the right driver. I'm currently using Windows 8 64-bit. And we're going to download the PCL5C driver. Click the download to the far right. And then we're going to save it to our desktop just so we know where it is. Files completed. I'm going to double click that. Run the application. And go ahead and click Next. We're going to browse back to our desktop again. That way we save the files where we can find them easier. And this automatically extracts everything out of here. Click OK. Here's our extracted file. Now we need to go into our devices and printers on here. So on Windows 8, you're going to hold down your Windows key and the letter R. In the Run command box, type in Control Printers. Hit Enter. And here we have our devices and printers. Click the Add Printer button. Now Windows 8 automatically searches for all connected printers on the network. We're going to actually skip this and go to the printer that I want isn't listed. Make sure we select add a printer using a TCP IP address or host name. Click Next. Device type, we're going to change this to a TCP IP device. And then host name or IP address, we're going to put the IP address of your copier. Make sure you don't use this IP address. And here, make sure the box is unchecked. Click Next. On the next screen, click on Have Disk. And then we're going to browse back to our file location here. So go to your desktop. Double click the folder we extracted earlier. And then here, the OEM setup file is the one we want. Click Open and OK. Now here on the left-hand menu, we want to make sure to select Rico. And then the right-hand menu, select the driver that we're installing for the machine. Click Next. Of course, here you can name your printer whatever you want. Typically, we just leave them as is. And then Next. And then Windows will install the printer for us. Once it's installed, make sure you do not share this printer unless you're installing on a server. Next. And we're going to skip print a test page for just a moment. Go ahead and click Finish. And here's our installed printer. Now I want you to go ahead and right click on this and go to Printing Preferences. This brings up our Preferences window. In the bottom left we want to change color black and white to just black and white. And then under the Duplex option we're going to change this from Open to Left to Off. This way you get single-sided prints versus double-sided. Once you're done with that, go ahead and click OK. And then right-click on the copier one more time. Go to Printer Properties. Once this window opens up, we're going to print a test page. As long as your test page prints out OK, you've installed the copier correctly and you're good to go.